So the stock ones, obviously, they don't go down over the exhaust. Uh, they don't have, you know, they kind of sit above it a good couple inches. So there we go. Let's get the uh, new five inch stretch bag and set it up here. See what you guys think. All right, here we go. New five inch stretch bag. Try to line it up here. There we go. Looks like that would be about it. So there you go. Oh my God, that looks awesome. Yeah, I'm already in love with this. This looks sick. Everybody's having a blessed day out there. As you can see, we have my 2020 Street Glide Harley Davidson on the table. And you probably noticed we got a couple of saddlebags sitting here on the bench. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing and installation on my bike of these brand new 5 inch stretched bags that we just got off Amazon and these things are under 200 bucks and I want to note that I paid for these these were not given to us um, I literally bought these on Amazon and they are $198 I was kind of skeptical the reviews look really really good on these bags and these bags are from the TCMT Amazon store if you haven't heard of them they have all kind of different versions. These are the already painted vivid black, which matches my bike. We got the regular lids with the chrome latches. And these are the five inch stretched version, which will go over my dual exhaust. Just perfect. And it's going to look bad ass. Now for under $200 guys, I'm, I'm not even going to Polish this, sugarcoat it, nothing. These things are jam up. And again, I bought these. I didn't have these sent to me for free. These were not donated. Um, this is not a, here's a product and we'll give it to you if you do a review. I bought these with my money. This is an honest unboxing and installation and review of these TCMT bags. Now, right out of the box, the paint job, is very good. It matches the bike. Uh, there's no there's no orange peel. Um, there's no you know it's not wavy. It looks as good as the paint on the bike. Now I have fingerprinted them like crazy by messing with them, um, but right out of the box, without wax, without polish, the paint looks awesome. Uh, the the latches and the lids they function just as well as the factory stock Harley lids they got a nice awesome snapping crisp lock when you latch it you can feel it and again it feels just like latching my factory stock Harley bag very very nice retention um, that's kind of what I was the most skeptical on. I kind of figured that the latches would feel crappy. Um, they don't. I'm, I'm shocked. They feel just as nice as the Harley bags. Um, even, even the chrome latch matches the Harley version. Looks identical. It's very clean. Um, they do give you... And, they do come with their own set of keys, um, as obviously the key won't fit, you know, your Harley box, your Harley bags will not fit these bags, so they give you a set of keys to fit the new bags. Um, now, a lot of people, which 
you can do this. They're interchangeable. You can change your latches. Your, you can put your factory latches in place of these. Um, there's even people that just take their factory lid off and put it on the stretched bag, which I was kind of thinking about doing that. Um, so you can do that. And that's just a matter of, you know, pulling a few screws out and you can just swap the whole lid over and then you can retain your factory uh, key. So for me, I don't think I'm going to do that. These, these lids feel, they feel good. I, I feel like I can trust them. Um, the only thing I may do is this right here. The little strap inside that holds your lid from going all the way over the side of the bag. As you can see, nothing wrong with this. It's just plain. And of course, the stock Harley bag, you know, this says Harley Davidson on it or it has a Harley symbol on it. I think I'm going to change that. I'm probably going to take my stock one off and put it in place of this one. Um, just so when we open the bag up, we feel like we have, I don't know, half Harley, <laughs> whatever. Um, the other thing to note on the bottom, just like the stock bags, it has the rubber little bushing inserts on the bottom um, for, the, for the bag frames. These come with them already installed. You can see the two rubber bushings. They look identical to the factory ones. Um, they're already installed in the bag. And also on the inside, let me open this back up. They have the, you can see on the back, they got the little rubber uh, bushing for your hardware to go through to hold the bag on. And see if you can see that on the inside. But yeah, we'll get the camera over here in a second and kind of do a, a close-up review and show off of it. But uh, again, I'm very impressed. I'm stoked. I'm going to get these things on. This is a super simple mod. Like, anybody can do this. Um, it's brain dead. You take the bag off, put the bag on. That easy. So, heck yeah. Let's get the camera. Um, I still have the right side bag in the box packaged up so i want to show you guys how the box came to me how they package it and so on so uh let's do it so here's a little bit more close up this is the factory bag obviously that's the factory chrome latch and my old bags are in pretty good shape still they got a couple of nicks from the previous owner um, this is the stretched five inch version as you can see all my fingerprints in this thing from messing with it that's the chrome latch that comes with it. Looks just like the original. Um, but this thing is, it's jam up, guys. The paint is, is awesome. Um, right out of the box, you know, without putting wax or polishing it or nothing, it looks good. It's, it's flat. It's not orange peely. Um, only thing wrong with black is it shows every single fingerprint. <laughs> but it's amazing. This thing is, this is, this is very good quality for two hundred dollars i'm i'm really blown away i mean if you price other bags out there i mean you're over you're talking thousands of dollars um i mean this is a no-brainer if if you just want some simple stretched bags to go over you know the side of the pipes and kind of give you that that different rear end look i mean this is a no-brainer guys this is absolutely no-brainer they they are amazing bags they look good and the quality's jam up for 200 bucks so again all right so this is the box that's the box that came in um, when i opened the box this is how it was you have two bags obviously and each one is wrapped individually um, with this foam padding and then under that you have the bubble wrap that the bag was actually placed in on top of that and plastic over that so they're wrapped up pretty good um to hopefully be able to get to you without being beat down too bad um i haven't opened that one so fingers crossed everything looks good on it but so far this one is amazing all right so this is with the lid open again we got the nice chrome latches um and again they're, they're very crisp they lock down nice and tight 
we got a bike taking off if you can't hear it <clears throat> um, this is the little strap on the inside I, like I said I think I'm gonna change that to my factory one um, you know only because it you know it does have the Harley Davidson symbol in there so we might do that um, and to do that it's just a couple of screws you got one there one there one here one there not a big deal to swap that um, and again like I said if you wanted to change your whole lid out and use your factory lid to retain your factory uh, keys that's just a matter of pulling out these screws um, and undoing the whole latch from the lower bag not a big deal that swaps out pretty easy but this is inside of the new five inch stretch bags um, you know it's got the nice little shiny latch it's got the little rubber bushings inside uh, for your hardware to go through and on the other side you can see the rubber bushing here um, just like the stock ones you can see there and that one over there um, so yeah like I said guys this is a a very stand-up bag for the money hard to beat it for sure all right so there you go enough jibber jabber on the unboxing let's get these things installed we're going to start with the left side um real quick i'm just going to take my stock one i'm just going to set it up here so you guys can kind of see what it looks like um, before we change it out although the beginning of the video should have kind of showed you that but let's grab it So here's a stock bag, and she sits just like so. Try to back up so you guys can kind of get that angle, see what you think. As you can tell, like so, the stock ones obviously they don't go down over the exhaust. Uh, they don't have, you know, they kind of sit above it a good couple inches. So there we go. Let's get the uh, new five-inch stretch bag and set it up here. See what you guys think. All right, here we go. New five inch stretch bag. Try to line it up here. There we go. Looks like that would be about it. So there you go. Oh my God, that looks awesome. Yeah, hey, I'm already in love with this. This looks sick. I like how my Reinhardt exhaust tips poke out at about two inches from the bag, enough where you can still read the Reinhardt Racing logo on them. That looks awesome. And then this goes all the way down, almost, just almost level with the bottom of the pipe. I'd say it's probably, probably close to about one inch from the actual bottom of the exhaust pipe. On the side, it pretty much completely covers the exhaust pipe. You can't see it anymore unless you get underneath the bike and look. Um, but this is awesome. Like, completely different look for less than 200 bucks. Yeah. Let's get this thing anchored down and then get the other one installed and see what it looks like as a total package. All right, so we have my factory hardware that I already had. I'm just gonna use it. We got the right one loosely started. Guys, the, the, the holes in the bags, they line up perfectly just like the factory Harley bag. No need to worry there. Literally fits like a glove. Nice and tight. Nice and tight, there you go. Boom! Shut this lid. Man, again, I can't say enough about how the lock feels. The latch, it feels just like stock. It, it really... Don't know if you can hear that. Let me try to do it again. Alright, we're going to lock it. I mean, it's got a nice little thud to it when it locks. The lid's not shaking. It don't feel loose solid all right so we got the right side bag let's 
set it up here. It's got the rubber bushes already on there as well. Some. There we go. So about right there. Get the hardware. nice and tight no wiggle feels nice and tight just like the uh, other bag on the left side that looks dope all right besides all my fingerprints all over this nice shiny stretched bags <laughs> what do you guys think there's a back end now with the five inch stretched bags as you can see, like I said, it goes around the tips perfect. Tips still are exposed to where you can still read the labels, so that's awesome. I do like that. So, I hope the video helps you guys out. Link will be down in the description below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. And, as always, stay safe out there, guys, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Drop the clutch, pedal to the floor, the night